Hello everyone, so in today's video, I wanna show you a quick journey of my artwork from probably like year 2003 up until now. So I just wanna show you this so I can inspire you to keep being persistent in painting and drawing in order to find your own style. I completely started out with something totally different from what I'm doing now. Um, I started out using like a lot of oil pastels and markers when I first started illustrating and painting and that led me to using watercolors just through experimentation okay so the first drawing i'm going to show you is kind of embarrassing <laughs> um i don't even know who i was illustrating or trying to paint but i used some oil pastels and you can see that the face is just really really um huge especially compared to the neck um this is one that i did when i was in university a while back and i used a lot of inks so I used to do a lot of um, detail, which is very, it's just totally opposite of what I do now using a very loose style. So you can see that the mouth is a little twisted on this one. And you know, I didn't quite know how to just get those proportions right. And so, okay, so this one is done with crayon. And I remember doing this from like a still life and I just decided to take another take on it. I just decided to make it into like a pattern. So again it's done with a lot of detail every little piece of it is filled in with crayon which is the opposite of what i do now okay at one point i started to get into drawing portraits a lot this is done with the uh, coloring pencil and then about year 2009 i really got into fashion illustration i actually took a, a course in uh, figure drawing and i still was not comfortable with drawing the face so i just left it blank which is fine and over probably like a year or so, I, my fashion illustrations developed into this style that you see now, but I still was not comfortable with out, outlining things. So I don't outline anything now. If you see my floor tutorials, you know that everything is very loose, but I used to outline everything with uh, a marker. Okay, so this is when I started to get into watercolors and started using fashion illustrations doing water, with watercolors. Um, so you can see that it's, it's still in a developmental stage. I, I still like these drawings, but it's in a developmental stage. So this one, um, eventually, probably like a year after I started doing fashion illustrations, I actually got my first commission for um, New York Fashion Week, and that was for a designer named Angel Sanchez. Uh, this one is completely opposite of what I do. You can see that my style has evolved. But this was for a magazine called Abrupt, um, um, a story about chefs. Um, so this is a wedding for wedding invitation. So you can see that my portrait started to get a lot better, but still there was an issue with like color. So this portrait is one that I really, really, really still love. But you can see that I still was not comfortable with putting just watercolors down. So I outlined everything was just a thin my markers got thinner I started using like these micron markers or micron pens to outline my illustrations to kind of make my I don't know it's kind of making myself feel safe without having to just jump into watercolors uh, this is a rose that I drew with markers and these are I'm pretty sure with Prismacolor markers I used to use Prismacolor markers for everything and then I finally started to get into just pure watercolors. And this honestly took, this was probably like a hundred sketches later, just took a lot of practicing and drawing over and over and over using watercolors. So one thing I would suggest if you are practicing, don't throw your paintings away. Just, you know, get some paper that you don't care too much about and just keep painting, 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 painting until you find something. In some of my illustrations, I will go back and I'll um, see a little bit that I like and I can kind of refix them. This uh, picture is inspired by Grace Jones. And if you follow me on any kind of social media, then you've seen it posted a lot of times. Um, this portrait is from a series of, that I did of geishas. And this portrait is one of my favorite portraits that I did a uh, live of a, a lady that during a beauty sitting. So guys, you can see that I started to become looser and looser and just kind of started to let the watercolors take on a life of its own, which to me, with watercolors, that was the ultimate goal. 
And this is a mixture of using wet to wet technique versus using like a dry on dry technique with, with its earrings on this particular portrait. Okay, so finally I started to get into doing illustrations, well, paintings for print designs. So you can see that all these very loose flower and floral prints that I started to do. So you can see that there was a, a journey from the beginning sketch until now. And uh, if you guys want me to do another video showing you... I guess more detailed sketches with um with different types of mediums just let me know and I can do that I have a huge box full of drawings so I just want to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of three portraits probably from year 2000 2004 the first one up until 2016 so you can see how it gradually became more uh, defined in my style but looser in the watercolor medium all right, so guys, I hope you found that inspiring. Please let me know um, what you're doing to define your style or what you did to reach the style that you're in. And I will see you guys next week on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.